Hey guys, what's up? I am GojiFan1990 and welcome back for another new video for today. Today we're on to the first episode of GojiFan98's Toho Kaiju Athon. In this video, I am going to talk about the original Rodan from 1956. Yes, this is it. I wish I wanted to show do my uh, Prono video like I did for my other review, other video project, but I decided not to do that. So, and as well, I'm going to go to the different style for my review of series. So let's get on to the history about Rodan. After the first Godzilla, and it's a sequel just came up at the time, Toho began working on the next monster movie on their own. As a mark, Rodan was created. As a mark of the first movie, to, the first kaiju movie to appear on color. And as well, like Godzilla, Rodan was created by a nuclear test in Radiator and irradiated and mutated by a nuclear radiation. And it, Rodent will later become a fan favorite monster, including my mother. There is a history about Rodent who's been in development. There are a lot of information about it. From wikizilla.org has a lot of information about that. So, I'll probably will talk about. Strangely, Rodent had a received release in America by the King Brothers production there's something strange about the American poster of Rodan, but it kind of looks like a different type of bird. There was also originally Rodan was supposed to be meant to be a different version of the bird, like Feather. Apparently Toll decided to scrap that and decided to have Rodan to be as Teradato. Takashi Kimura and other screenplay writer wrote this script when the original story was was written where the Rodan was injured and then landed in Okinawa by the defeat by an American. But this idea never been used. So this idea about Rodan, who will later become well, Rodan will later become a member of Toho's Big Five. He's the second member of that time. There a history about where to start. Before it was Rodan in 1956, or around the 55 after the release of Godzilla Rays again. One of a Toho actor gave it the idea to Tomiyuki Tanaka working on the idea. For a sequel to Raise Again called Bride of Godzilla. Unfortunately, this concept never came to pass, but some of the concept elements of that idea was thrown in into Rodan. With it, a giant insect monster run amok in the, mine, in the mining village and later being overshadowed by a giant flying creature who emerged underground. But this, that same guy who wrote The Bride of Godzilla did make an appearance in Rodan. Which is, I don't know where he is. I couldn't find him anywhere. Well, he does not receive having the original credit in that in, in the credit. And also, fun fact, Jim Fukuda was a, as work was the assistant director in that movie, and Rodan was handled was directed by Ishiro Honda, and the composer was handled by Akira Ifukube, and special effects director was handled by Eiji Suvaya. Rodan also featured a new monster in this film was. Mecha Nulon, who will later reappeared again in 2000's Godzilla vs. Mechagira. Mecha, Mecha Guma, I mean, Mecha Nula, was played by Haru Nekijima, Katsumi Tatsuka, and another student actor, including Shusho Hirose, who will later play as King Kong and King Ghidorah. And also, Neke, also Nekijima also will play as Rodan, but during the filming when that time, the wire actually snapped when it was holding Nekijima inside Rodan's suit while in the flying scene. When the wire snapped, he fell in. Haru Nekijima fell into 20, 20 feet above the ground. Thankfully, the suit's waning and the water ha managed to break the fall. And Haru almost reported he almost drowned during the filming, but luckily he was all right. Eiji Suvaya was very glad that Haru was okay. But also noted, Nekijima also appears in himself here as a Japanese Civil Defense Force uniform guy, which as you can see him in that time. A lot of suit actors want to thought they wanted to show their face. I really love the design of Rodan. And there is also had a feature two Rodan. Yet there's more than one. It was a male and a female. And also strangely, Rodan breathed a vapor like smoke out of his mouth like Godzilla's. But this ability was never being used again. You wanna know why? Because Toho thought that it was unrealistic to have Rodan have that ability. So they decided not to use that in the sequel for Rodan's appearance. After Rodan was came up, 
Until that time, about a year later, Rodin got a release here in America with the English dubbing, was George Takei, who will later go to appear in Star Trek. George Takei was playing voice of some other f characters in the movie. Yeah. And, um, the movie had started with our main character named Shigeru, was played by Kenji, Kenji Sahara. And Akihiko Hirata was portrayed as a professor character wearing glasses as he trying to figure out what was in that that time. But it was nice to have the scene of familiar face from other Toho movies in the Godzilla film to make it appear. But fun fact, Kenji Sahara did make an appearance in the first Godzilla movie, as his name was on credit in the movie. He plays two characters in the movie. One of a guy in a, in a cruising ship and the other character he was playing as a reporter in the scene where after Sarazawa's sacrifice. Well, I just found out how, but that's just a lot of information about it. Throughout the movie, when there was a strange strange things going on in the mine, thought that it was one of her miner named Goro killed everyone in the mine. But it turns out it was done by a monster. And it kills people at that time. And then we, we finally got to see Rodan, but we did get a glimpse of him when he was headed right towards the fighter jet and kill the pilot. But we did learn from Shingero when he apparently doesn't remember when he uh, couldn't remember what happened until his memory finally came back and explained that Shingero was in another cavern and there he found a giant egg and more of Mechanulans. And then Rodan emerged from the egg and ate into that dragonfly larvae. And then that's where it all starts. Toward at the end of the film, the Japanese Self Defense Force had to come up to plan how to defeat Rodan is to to get Mount also to erupt and kill the Rodans. However, it was successful. As the both Rodan dies, it was kinda of sad moment to have Rodan to die in the movie. But Rodan will later reappear again in the Godzilla series in 1964, along with Mothra, but Rodan will always be a very fan favorite movie monster. So, I like to design the original Rodan. Nakajima did a great job playing as a monster and him and appearing in his actually get to show his face as a Japanese Self Defense Force member. It was great. Really great. The characters in the story was really good and I'm really glad they used the content elements from Bright of Godzilla idea was thrown in. But it was really nice. Well, that's all I have to say for the original Rodan. But if you want to learn more information about Rodan, there's a trivia and development and production history about it in Wikizilla and in documentary from the book to learn more about that. Well, that's all I have to say for Rodan. Stay tuned to next episode. I'm going to review The Mysterian. And yeah, before you might say something about that, The Mysterian does have a kaiju. But it was actually a monster robot. But I will talk about the Mysterians when I get over there until next month. Stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for watching you guys. And I always stay with your fans and go with your fans. 1990 will always be, be here for more. And do more videos in the future. So yeah. So stay with your fans as always. So I remember my friends. Bye.